Right, so we're gonna go over a duck under from a collar tie and elbow. We're gonna get there by grip fighting nogi style to the collar tie and elbow grip. So we can start with our 201 here, holding tight, or our 201 here, holding tight. But regardless of which one, we're gonna switch to the elbow on the outside. So check it out. So let's break that down. <laughs> All right, so I get my two on one grip, up or down, doesn't matter. From here, and as he tries to pull back, it creates a handle. So I wanna grab the rip, the elbow with the C grip and push the opening towards him. This is the two on one elbow grip. He tries to pull this away, I'm pretty strong with this. From here, I'm gonna abandon the wrist and go to the collar tie. When I do this, I wanna shift everything to the center line, kinda of like Kung Fu stance. The head and the elbow push to the center line. Now he doesn't like this. When he fights this elbow, boom. Coaches have been telling you since day one, don't get your elbows away from your body. But we're creating a reaction. I push the center line, he pulls out. Make sure, see how my elbow went on the inside? Make sure your elbow stays tight. Now when he pulls his arm out, I got inside position. So I push, elbow on the inside. From here, it's gonna be just combing my hair and going in for a single leg to clear this arm. Once I clear this arm, I'm gonna look up, bail on it, step up and pull down on his head to keep his posture broken. Now let's turn a little bit, Jeremy. From here, bigger guys, I might not be able to get the full body lock. Jaren's been losing weight, so I could totally get it on him. But bigger guys, I might have to find the arm and get this seatbelt grip. Hand over here, extender, grab, no big deal. At this point, whether it's here or here, or even if his arm's out, we can still do it here. I like this one because it keeps me in control. I'm gonna shuffle, wrestler shuffle, behind him, pistol squat down and trip him with my trailing leg. Now at this point, two things are gonna happen. He's either gonna battle up to his knees and I'll just follow him, go ahead. Or he's gonna try and turn into me and I have to get my bottom arm out. All right, so this is a duck under to a valley drop or Tani Atoshi. All right, so watch one more time. We'll do up grip this time. Two on one, got him, elbow. Center line. When he pulls it out, inside position, shoot in, duck it, head up, pull him down, lock up the body lock. Keep circling that momentum, but drive him down. You can trip the foot or just pull him down. If he battles up, or turns in, get it out. He's trying to trick me. Or if he battles up, go the other way. All right. I can ride him up. All right, guys, so look. No key grips, they don't last long. So all this grip fighting while I'm explaining it's going very slow. But in real life, we're going fast after this. I hope this helps you out with some no gi grip fighting to get into some takedowns. Y'all have a happy holidays. Appreciate you, Jaren. Peace.